I'm joined by Cody's manager Alan Dowson after this evening's 2-1 win over Hendon. Alan, it's been a fairly satisfying weekend, hasn't it? Six points over three days. I um, got a few more neatly, to be honest. Um, we had the one shock. It's got a good football inside here. They're not a second bottom team or whatever. We've got um, we got other playoffs last year and won the cup against us. And, um, we've got you know most of the same players really. I think not uh, not that much different. So uh, I was expecting a tough game tonight because you know they've had that massive where they took all the shot all the way at the last three minutes. So uh, um, I knew it would be a hard game tonight, not just us against the second bottom team because he'll be nowhere near that. Not with Gavi manager anyway. Um, but it was, it was a good test for when it ended up being you know just sick at scoring the last couple of minutes like your 90th minute again and if, yeah I don't know yeah, that's just a, a disappointing thing but there you go that's what happens and um, you know I'm just pleased to get a win and it gets us back down to earth again because we're disappointed with the last couple of minutes and um, the pop mat I thought we're done put in a shift they tried very hard and we you know we've got we've got five six new players and it's going to get hard for them to just uh, you know so we need a couple of training sessions with them as well so um, hopefully once they get back play, um, playing properly we'll be fine like you know but fair play we've worked hard uh, because of that late goal that you mentioned there Matt Patterson's strike turned out to be the winner what a belt of a free kick that was excellent and his other one will hit the ball and will hit the poor hit a couple of the keeper uh, two good free kicks like, you know, so the free kick was excellent um, really was I remember him scored a very good one against Sutton in pre-season but that beats that one to be honest that was a great strike and a great goal and then um, Pat was having a good season um, doing really well and we've got Murphy who um, just would score another head kick didn't he like, you know, and, but he's played well last two games Murphy like, you know, he comes across as somebody who should be in the Harry Potter films to be honest with that lovely haircut and doesn't move so the truth of the matter is he's, uh, he's come in the last two games done a good job I thought he got fouled on the lead up to the goal to be honest that's what I thought but there you go um, you know just a sloppy goal to concede but Again, two good goals of one more game, to be honest, you know. And how well has Murphy done? He's had to adapt to a number of different centre back partnerships so far this season. You, you've obviously played there. How difficult is that for him? No, because yeah, I, I don't think he's been in the last month, I don't think he's played very well. And he knows that. And I've told him that. And he, he needed to actually just to sit down with him or just have a chat with him saying, listen, hold on a minute. Yeah. You now we're signing into summer. Yeah, I'm actually on your side. But the last two games he's done well. And the, the two centre halves have done well in the last two games. And it's one of them where he's. Um, you know, um, it's just that will be nothing because we made a couple of changes at the end. I'm thinking back now, should I have done it? To be honest, where um, the back four hasn't conceded in a while, so um, in the two games, and it should, we should be having two clean sheets, and that's unheard of. I think. I don't know if it's happening in my time to be honest probably in the promotion season that way in the last few years doing have clean sheets so um, it would have been important but but let's not take away about the defended well again tonight and uh, that's the we're gonna score goals I've said that from day one it's just that uh, um, the ones you know to be honest we've got to co um, stop conceding hopefully you know but, um, let's see I think we only had the one shot hopefully that's um, that's out of the way but um, you know I thought we would have looked a little bit on Saturday but I didn't think we did tonight to be honest. At the other end of the pitch, uh, Craig Mullen made way for Wade Small this evening. Yep. Is that your preferred partnership up front, Small and McCollin? Or is it a choice of two if, from uh, three? Two from three. Like, um, be Andre, it wasn't Andre's night and eight. Andre had a poor night and eight. Um, he, he didn't do much, but he's been excellent for us and all that, you know. And uh, in, in, you know, around the team, I'm looking, I'm thinking, you're doing okay. Do, I, I'm always happy at this minute. I've said from day one, at this minute, it'll be fun free. So I've got to change it around a bit and play, you know, the Craig and Andre or Craig and. Um, you know, weird and all that, that's what I'll do. I just, I've just been changing it around and a boy's fresh, and that's all it is because uh, you can rely on two all the time, and the other one doesn't feel as uh, yeah, um, you know, he's got a chance, and that's probably why we maybe he's got rid of Clayton in a certain way because you know, that's four, you can't have four chances for two, I'd rather nail me three on, who you know, I think that's what we're trying to do. Like, you know, lots will get better with games, you know, doing one good run in the first half, hopefully, that's getting them back to somewhere we want to be, and um, he got a good cross when Lewis Taylor nearly scored in the header. Um, so um, it's just like you know, not, I haven't got the uh, at the minute. Andre is sort of probably ahead of him because he scored the most goals, but it's a very close call between them two, which will be a good battle. And I want a good battle, you know. There has been a, a number of players leaving, a number yep. of players joining the club over yep. the last couple of weeks. Are you happy with the squad as it is, or are you still tinkering? You still, still looking tinkering. for the extra, extra yeah, couple yeah, of players? Yeah, 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 I am. I, 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 um, you know, we've had a couple of bad results down here. To be honest, we've conceded 12 goals in three games. We've got knocked out in a Surrey Senior Cup game against Crimson Castles when I thought the team was going to be good enough to win the game. When we could have played Sutton in the next round, so uh, you know, it wasn't one of them where I, I might have said on the Saturday I wasn't bothered about the game, um, but I was. Um, so uh, to be fair, we needed these two wins because I don't think people are very happy within the club to tell you the truth, um, and it might be so. Um, so uh, if you see if nailed it and all that, I'm best off just you know saying we're going for next week or two. Being delighted that we've got two wins on the spin, gets with joint fifth or whatever to this tonight, and actually kicking on from there. But there's plenty of work to do, and there's plenty of players out there that we believe we can fetch in, like, you know, if need be. If not, fair play to the lads for working hard. 
And what did these six points do for the confidence in the dressing room? I think that's the biggest thing when you concede that many goals. Nick, we didn't deserve to lose that against Canby. Our second half performance was probably as, as well as we played all season. The first half was different, and we didn't deserve to lose there. Uh, and we've had a couple of games like that, to be honest. And you, you look at. Um, you know, like from the first game of the season when we had um, Small had that goal disallowed and we've had a lot of, uh, so uh, hopefully we looks changing a little bit because I've always believed that if you are going to challenge at the top five or near the top, you need a little bit of luck to go along the way. So hopefully I was just changing a little bit. Got some good players, um, but we've got to get on top of them. And, um, you know, hopefully the squad, you know, one or two will let me we of course it will. I'm just trying to bring better players in, you know, and I'll back this club against anybody else as well here. I tell you the truth, that's a very good club to play for. So hopefully we can keep on going, you know. Thanks so much. Good start tonight. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.